What is going on everybody? I am here with some more Resident Evil 4. Last time we've uh, made it to a new island and we're finally introduced to some new enemies which are a lot more tougher. And uh, we finally f well, found Ashley well, on video and uh, so we know where she is so we're on our way to rescue her. They've turned off the cameras. Well obviously Leon. Now as you can see here look, there's pictures of Ashley and stuff. So they were planning through this throughout the whole time. Now, uh, if you look behind, there's going to be a locker which contains 5,000 pesos. Now, that one is actually easy to miss because no one, because even, even I made this mistake that no one, uh, I didn't, even, I didn't even bother to, to check around. And shotgun shells. That's five of them. Now we have a now we have a merchant here which has a bunch of ammunitions. Look at this. Now I definitely know uh, this guy does have some new stuff. Got some rare things on As you can see, he, uh, the new stuff that he has is one is he has a tactical vest. Uh, it goes only for sixty pesos. Tactical vest, is safe, uh, feel safer. Oh well, wait, feel safer with this armor vest. Reduces damage taken by thirty percent. Yes. It is a tactical vest it prevents you from uh, damage. Now, the one thing that they don't tell you is um, it, it, it only protects you, uh, that 30% only protects you from physical attacks. Now, if you're getting shot by with bows and arrows or with the Gatling guns or anything like that, it doesn't really do that much. So, is that so I'm going to buy the tactical vest, which is, to, as you can see, a lot of money. And he doesn't have anything else besides the um, tactical vest, which is new. So that is the only thing that he has that's new, and nothing really else. What are you buying? Now over here, there's another shooting range. If you want to take the time to um, uh, get the the rewards that's there. There we go. Now there is this now this is kind of like a little game where uh, if you go through the door, um, it will prevent you from actually going through it. As you can see, like right there. If I move back, it's gonna open it. But if I move forward, it's gonna close it. So. You have to defeat the enemies that's there. This guy still hasn't died yet from, like I would say, like four direct hits from dynamite. See, look, and he's still alive. I could hear him. There you go, now he died. Jesus Christ. Now, um, I won't be using the Magnum. Yeah, I won't be using uh, the Magnum just because I want to save some ammo that comes with it. Now I can't. Yeah. Now it's just we defeated two of the uh, archers and the guy who has the dynamite, and the two enemies that have dynamite. Uh, the door will be finally opened for us. As you can see, like this guy was actually playing with the lever and preventing us uh, from actually going through. So there's no possible way to actually sneak through that. All you have to do is just. Um, kill the enemies that are there. Now, uh, this one is actually easy to miss also because it directly puts you towards here. Like, 
toads in this area so you you are so you're unable to see uh, this little path over here now this door over here brings you back all the way up to the beginning where we first entered through this building now this has a treasure asset best watch I think there's nothing else besides uh, that treasure well besides the um the um the safe point ooh mysterious over has a a move has some more sniper rounds It's locked. It looks like I need to insert a key card. This faint, unpleasant odor coming from behind behind this door. It smells like garbage. So that gives us a little bit of a hint. Also, it's locked. Also, the door feels cold. It must be a freezer of some sort. So we need a key card to actually fit through the freezer and also be on the other door, which is that. Magnet rounds, which is actually good. As you can see, it foreshadows of what is going to happen. It looks like they're we were conducting some sort of autopsy on that body of some sort, maybe. Now we can't go through the, yeah it's locked something inside of the room must be blocking the door now I don't think if we if we see it there is nothing there is nothing blocking through that door because it goes right through so I don't know why they said that yes now this is actually one of the most easiest um, security systems of all time I don't know why uh, a security system is like this all you have to do is just to, is create a path from A to B. As simple as that. So what we want to do is blue, and then yellow, and then green, and then red. Simple as that. And it will open the door for us. Blue is memo three. Now, actually, I'm going to read this because this is actually very important. The hideous creatures such as uh, just such as the El Gigante and the Novostados were merely byproducts of the uh, biobolical and humane experiments conducted on the specimens that were once human. But there is no other type of creature that clearly distinguishes or this thing with yeah distinguishes itself from the rest these creatures are called generators generators have a superior uh, metal metabolism metabolism thing as they say that uh, that allows them to regenerate their uh, lost body parts at an incredible speeds I've seen anything I haven't I've never seen anything like this uh, it is the characteristics that makes them almost invincible to conventional weapons but like any th but like any living creature there's a way to actually kill it apparently there are plagas uh, there are plagas that, that live in its body somewhat like leeches they can't seem to be they can't they can't be seen with the naked eye they can only be located through thermal imaging to stop its generation process these leeches like my like plagas must be located and then destroyed as far as I know, most generators host a number of these leeches like plagas. To kill the generators uh, eat to kill yeah, to kill the generators, each one of these leeches a leech like plagas must be killed. So that gives us uh, a hint of what these enemies are. What the what kind of experience are going around over here? Are going around here. So it kinda looks like one of the plagas 
uh, trying to attach itself uh, from this human exp from from this uh, human right here. And here we got the feature key card. That's exactly what we needed. Was anyways. And of course, we are introduced to a brand new enemy from what Lewis has said in his memos. These are the regenerators. Regenerators are pretty difficult to actually kill. As you can see, look, it's regenerating his body right away. So no matter what, if you actually get a headshot, loses its limbs, it's still gonna function. As you can see, look, it, it's regenerating its body right away. See, look, I could shoot all of its limbs. And look, it could still be active. So these enemies are pretty difficult to actually kill. So look right away. Just repaired its limbs. In just a few in just a few seconds actually. There you go. So it's gonna waste all your ammunition. I should have just used the magnum. As you can see, that was where the body was. Now the, it, there's just an emerald over here. So these generators are not to be messed with, or not to be underestimated by, because these enemies are actually very powerful. Now the sad thing about these generators is that we're only, we're only gonna be encountering them. A couple times so these are just not regular enemies so sadly these monsters are not a reoccurring enemy as you can see now there is an explosive barrel over here there we go Why is it not going through? There we go. Jesus Christ. I was, I wasted almost all my magnum ammo that I that I found already. Now since we have the freezer key card, we can actually go inside the freezer over here. These bodies must have been Cryogenocided. Wait, what? Cryogenocided? Yeah, uh, with the parasites. Uh, they're still in their bodies. Sucks to be them. Find some uh, rifle ammo. This must be a key card rewriter. Maybe I can rewrite the data on the cards. Uh, yeah. We got the waste disposable key card. And that we turned off the freezer. Now over here it has a uh, an attachment. Take the infrared scope. So it was a trap the whole time. Now remember uh, in Lewis's memo, it says that the uh, parasites in the generators can only be seen through infrared. And this is it. We have the infrared scope. This is only, uh, you can only attach the infrared scope on the rifle. As you can see, there are uh, parasites there. Now it doesn't matter which sniper rifle you have, if you have the semi-auto the, uh, semi or the bolt action, um, 
the infrared scope will will attach to those two rifles no matter what. So, uh, like I said, the the infrared scope is only available for the uh, sniper rifle, for both sniper rifles. So you can't attach it to a shotgun or a pistol or a uh, submachine gun or anything like that. Now I will keep the infrared scope for now. Um, oh, you can sell it, but uh, I'm not gonna sell it at the moment because it, it's it's useful uh, for the time being. Now here we have a a crane here, which <laughs> kind of represents a um, those toy machines. So uh, these uh, well, this crane is only uh, only useful three times. So it actually uh, g gives you um, the opportunity to take out all of them at the same time. As you can see, these two enemies right here are together. So if you measure it perfectly, you can actually get both of them. Hopefully, I do. Yes, I got them. Now this one's actually a little bit tricky because um, he's behind these uh, the garbage. So hopefully I get him. Yes. Okay. I was only available twice. It's no longer operational. I thought it was three times. I guess not. I could have sworn it was three times. There we go. It's a waste dump. Maybe it leads to the lower levels. And of course, that's uh, giving us another hint. Security search for the door on the left. There's a bunch of waste disposal work. There's nothing useful here. Yes, Leon, there's nothing useful for us. Now, do we have anything to combine? Yeah, we do. Okay, keep entering through. There's Ashley. No, wait, no. I have a flash grenade. I could use that. Okay. Now use the hand grenade. What? What do you... Nobody wants to hear you right now. And of course, the... Enemies come back up. The grenade is actually useless in this sense. Okay, I hear you. God damn it, Ashley. It's locked. I need a key card. Okay, Ashley, I gotta return. Uh, I'll return. Wait, was it a door? No, that was a Christmas one wasn't a door here. Oh, luckily, I saved up this other grenade here. And I got another flash grenade.
I gotta reload. I'm gonna get hit. Damn it. Okay, got it. I got all of them. Shotgun shells, which I do need. Now, I'm not... Uh, did I miss any items here? I think I did. What uh, what x-rays are showing? So it just shows like a bunch of x-rays. Pretty much nothing useful. Okay, let's keep moving. Ah, uh, yes, use this green herb. Okay, now since uh, we made it, now we did uh, a good progress in this episode, so I'm just gonna end it off here for now. So next time on Resident Evil 4, we are going to uh, find something, we're gonna find a key card to actually release Ashley. So next time.